I'm at Super George and I'm so, so excited today to bring God's word to you. Can we call for our daily bread? Oh, let's, let's just do it so we enjoy today's benefit. Praise God. David say he daily loads us. Hallelujah. David, I'm part of that company. He didn't say he daily loads me. He said he daily loads us with benefits praise god who was he referring to the sanctified ones are, are you part of us all right let's call for our daily bread today say with me say father thank you for sanctifying me by your truth and now i demand today my daily bread and i receive it right now in jesus name amen Man, praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for today's broadcast. Thank you for your spirit that is at work in our lives. Thank you. Holy Spirit, you're guiding us into all truth. And I declare burdens are being lifted right now. Yokes are being destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I see an ankle ankle pain pain in the ankle you you can raise your leg now and begin to twist it that pain is gone from you thank you jesus yeah that's part of him removing the body and destroying every yoke praise god and i declare every yoke in your life the yoke of addiction is broken over you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the appetite for that pain is gone from you in Jesus' name, amen, amen. I told you, when you listen to this broadcast, if there's any sickness in your body, while you're listening, just once in a while, exercise that place, check that place, and say, Lord, I receive my healing. Why? Because as I'm ministering, the power of God is truly present to heal. I may not be talking about healing, but you see, His word, just be assured of one thing. Everything I'm sharing with you, I share as I hear, so I speak. And as this word is coming to you, it's entering you if you open your heart. And healings will take place. Changes will take place in your life. That is the power of the gospel. Praise God. All right. So we're looking at the word of God transforming our lives. The word of God changing us. The, how the word of God works in us and Paul says I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and Romans 12 where we read yesterday it says be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and I was telling you how you know the word of God is making an impact in your life is when you see the word affecting the decisions you make in life why did you decide to move here? Oh, because the word of God actually taught me that here is better. Why did you choose to make this choice? Oh, because the word of God told me that this is the choice that God has given me. See, you remember Abraham when, when he was to send his servant to go look for a wife for his son. And then he said, look, come, put your hand on my lap, on my tie, and swear that you will never take my son or take a wife from amongst these people here, but you will go to my family background and look for a wife for my son. And, and, the, and the servant asked him, Sir, it's not a problem, but what if the woman is unwilling to follow me? I want you to take note now. He says, what if the, the scripture reference on the screen, what if the woman is unwilling to follow me? Should I take your son to go live with her there. And Abraham said, far from it. Why? He said, listen. You know, anytime I think of this, it, it just sends shivers. 
He said, God had told me to leave my father's house where I was staying before, to this land. And he had told me that I will inherit this land with my seed. So we are here right now. Now guess what? At that time, Abraham has not fully gained ownership of any land. He was just living as a squatter. But God have told him, I will give you this land that you're on. And Abraham told the servant that, hey, if you take my son to go live there, how will he inherit the land and fulfill the word of God? I was so moved when I read that thing and the understanding came to me. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a man who, who God promised him before. Look at your life. You know, two years. God told you something in two years. And you've not seen it come to pass. And you are shaking. And you're saying, oh, does this thing work? This is a man that God said, leave your father's house. Now, he was about 70 or 75 years when God said that to him. Right? And then he, he obeyed the voice of God. And God told him afterwards, I will give you a son. And he waited for that son for over 25 years. Before God told him about a son, God told him that you will inherit this land. Okay. 25 years. God showed up and said, oh, I'll give you a son. This is the son. Isaac was born. Now, this must have been about 25 to 30 years after God had told him, you will inherit the land. Now, his son is grown up, ready to marry. He has still not inherited the land. Yet, this man, you know, I was, I was just thinking about these things this morning. And I said, how amazing that those who never had a Bible, lived such a fit life that all we do today in the Bible is make reference to them. But we have not able to measure up to the kind of faith that they walked in. And then he said, you ask yourself this question, that what we have really is supposed to be better than them, right? But are, are we living a better life? A better life is not driving good cars and living in wonderful choice houses. That doesn't mean you're living a better life. A better life is that union you come into with God. And then you realize that everything is well. I'm telling you, Abraham, after about, think about it. This must be like 50 years after the promise was made to him or even more. And he's talking to his servant and his servant says, sir, what if the lady is not willing to follow me? Should I take your son? He says, no, don't do it. Why? Because God had told me that this is my land and my son will inherit this land. So don't do So Abraham was making a life changing decision, not just for himself, but for his son because of the word of God that has come to him. Are you getting? Now that's a renewed mind, brothers and sisters. That's a renewed mind. Your family is still there, not because, not that a flood destroyed your family or an earthquake happened where you were before or something bad was happening there. No, sir. There is no evidence that things were bad in that place. They were living well. They were living well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But Abraham was making that decision. That's to tell you one thing. He, he, his mind has become so renewed. And like I told you, God have put him in that corner of the sanctified ones by, the, by reason of the word of God that has come to him. So look at your life. What, is, what gauges your decision, your decision making? What controls your decision making? Abraham knew that, look, by reason of the word of God, his choices concerning a wife or his son have become limited. And here you are as a child of God, say, look, I can marry anybody. I can just marry anybody. And anything, God will support me. <laughs> really? I can just do any business and get money. After all, it's my tithes that God is after. Huh? 
No. No, 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 no. You can't do any business. We, we, you see, there are certain things we can't get involved with. I remember one time, a dear friend of mine, you know, someone I would really like to do anything for, you know, came to me and said that um, I'm looking for this money to pay a certain bill and said, please, um, I've been able to get someone who can borrow me that money, but they just need a shorty. And, and I know you can stand as a shorty for me. So can you just, I'm not asking you for the money. I just ask, you see, I will pay. I, I will surely pay. I'm just asking you to just stand for me. That's all they need. They will give me the money. So I just need you to stand for me and pay so that I'll get this money and offset that bill. I'm telling you the truth. Now, this is somebody I would really have loved to help in that regard. But guess what? I couldn't. Why? Because I have been trained by the word of God never to do that. Never to stand as a shorty for anyone to take a loan. Yeah. Now, now, now you, you, you can say this and some say, what is there? What is there? Uh -huh. Okay, not a problem for you because you have not been built up by the word. But when the word of God builds you up, like I said, it boxes you into a corner. There are certain things we can never do. We can never take loan, no matter how small. We can't. Not because Ale Gabusha, not because we are afraid. But you know, you know, I, I, I was, the, I know, I told the person. I said, "Wow," I, I said, "Know what? I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I have to turn down your request. You see, this thing you're asking for, I can't do it." He said, "Why? Don't you trust me to pay?" I said, "It's not about trusting you to pay. It's about going against God's word." I said, you see? I said, true. And I showed this person from scriptures where he says, don't do it. It's, it's, he, in Proverbs, they actually say, it's foolishness to do so. And I'm not foolish. I said, but, but, but I'm, I'm really going to pay. I said, let me tell you something. We, we can stand here, and I was like, we can stand here today and, and, and see and make every projection and, and, and see that you're going to pay. And I can also stand here and say, look, I'm going to monitor your finances and make sure you pay this loan because I'm a surety. We can, we can stand on this side and do all that. But the moment we step into this, we are going against what the word of God has built me for. Now, that is iniquity on my part. Now, when that iniquity takes place, you remember the Bible said, give no place to the devil. Now, you will become so amazed that you say, oh, oh, um, I'm not supposed to do this. But for you, you know, it's okay. I I'll do it. And then you go ahead and do it. The moment you do it, Satan takes over that whole process. Now, you will be amazed that a loan of something as small as 50,000 naira that you know that you can just, you know, wake up and pay becomes a challenge to pay. You will be amazed. And you'll be amazed that you'll be, you, you'll be embarrassed. You'll be harassed. And you'll be wondering, what's going on? You gave place to the devil. It's as simple as that. You gave place to the devil. You went against what the word of God has built you for. It is not God that's going to be punishing you. No, 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 don't get it wrong. No, it's not God that's saying, mm, I told you not to stand short for something. You're going to say, I will deal with you. No, no, no. Satan has been looking for an opportunity to get you out of that sanctified ones. Out of that corner that God has placed you. Because see, in that corner, <laughs> he says, there. The Lord has commanded his blessings, even life forevermore. So I told this person, you know what? Let's pray and believe God. You'll get this money some other way. And the person was not really, really happy because that's not what you want to hear. I just want, I've seen the money. Don't tell me let's pray. I've seen the money some. But you give room to the devil. I'm telling you, he, he, takes, he takes pleasure in disgracing. And that's why sometimes people don't understand what happens in their lives. Everything was good 
until there was one decision they took that turned everything upside down. They can't explain. They've tried everything to get out of that situation, but they can't. You know what happened? They got out from amongst the sanctified ones. They got out of that corner that the Lord has kept them. They stepped out of it and they wanted to do things like the unsanctified ones. Satan took advantage of that. I know the first thing he's going to do, block your mind from entering back as a sanctified one. He will fill you with condemnation that the thought of, lay Lord, have mercy on me, will be too hard for you to see. Until the word of God begins to influence your choices and your decisions, you haven't entered as a sanctified one. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye.